Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with more Spellbinding Adventure coming with The Howl of the Banshee. You like that? Okay, here we go. The Howl of the Banshee. The masks worn by the Howling Banshees are remarkably simple in function, but devastating in effect. Built into their helmets are potent psychosonic amplifiers linked to a central mouthpiece that is permanently fixed into a terrifying snarl. In their traditional bone-white garb, they appear like the Banshee of the Ancient Myth, a pale, wraith-like figure that chills the blood with its cry of despair and pain. Alongside the martial skill that the Banshees learn during their time in the Aspect Shrine, they are also taught how to channel the grief and rage that they experience in killing into a terrifying shriek imbued with psychic dread and channeled through the amplifiers. The Banshees' scream becomes a weapon as effective in its way, as their shuriken pistols or power swords. As the Banshees charge into combat, their howls combine to create a barrage of psychosonic force known to the Eldar as the Scream That Steals. This combination of noise and esoteric energies not only temporarily deafen their enemies, but also floods their nervous systems with psychic power. Not enough to risk opening up to possession by the beasts of the warp, you little beardy fuck. But enough to temporarily disorient or even paralyze them. By the time they recover their senses, the Howling Banshees are amongst them, bringing death with shuriken and wreathed, energy wreathed blades. In this way, do they eliminate and emulate, sorry, the mythological horror from which they take their name. As the sound of the Banshees howl presages doom to all who hear it. There you go. So that was the exciting description of the howl. Next, you can say, well, what else is there to know about the mask after that? Oh, I can tell you. Apparently, it is somehow tied to the Eldar crone goddess. And I will talk about that next time. Bye. Mm.